boy, do I have a treat for you. I know you guys love my recipe videos, and today I'm sharing another one with you. So this could either be for lunch or for dinner. It's extremely safe for you to eat. It's really delicious, and it'll get you on the right track to eating what you're supposed to eat and healing your eczema. So it actually includes what we talked about in my last video, and that is oysters. So go check out that video. It's about seafood and eczema and all the nutrients that you can get from oysters. Jumping right in, what you're going to do is you're going to grab a frying pan and you're going to add some frozen cauliflower florets. And so they're just like, if you have a fresh cauliflower, just cut it up into pieces. Try to get the little bulb looking ones. Those are called florets, especially when you're referring to broccoli. Put them in a pan and start them going. And so then you're going to add spinach and leeks. So if you're in stage one, don't use spinach. It can make you very itchy. Um, you don't even have to include it if you don't want to. I love the texture of spinach. It's very ooey and gooey when it's like cooked up. So from there, we're going to cook this up for about five minutes. You want to put a lid on, especially if the vegetables you're using are frozen. So once your pan starts to warm up, you're going to want to add some water. I would suggest maybe a fourth of a cup to a half of a cup. Um, and this really helps create steam, especially when you have that lid on there to cook all your vegetables. So then we're going to add a little bit of seasoning. So we're going to add nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast, um, it's not actually active bacteria yeast. So if you're worried about candida, it has nothing to do with that. It's just called nutritional yeast. It's these yellow flakes and they're extremely high in B12. So once this has cooked for a little bit, what you're going to do is push all of those vegetables to the side of the pan because what we're going to add next is very interesting. We're going to add beet noodles. You can get this from places like Publix, Fresh Market, Whole Foods. You can probably get it out in California at Sprouts or you can make it yourself or you can just put in beet cubes or beet slices. Beets are really, really good for you. So you're going to put that on the side of the pan. I suggest doing that. Uh, you don't have to, but if you don't want everything to turn pink, try to do that. Um, if also you don't want everything to turn pink, you can use golden beets and they will turn everything red. So either use beet noodles, beet cubes, and you're going to put that on the side of the pan and put that lid right back on there. So you're going to let that cook for a couple of minutes. And while it's cooking, just prepare your plate, get ready to eat this meal, and what you can do is prepare some oysters on the side. So right before you add the beets, what you should do, so oysters take about 5 to 10 minutes to make, get yourself a leather pan, fill it up with water, add your oysters, put another lid on it, and get those really steamy, and then you'll see that they'll pop open. So this meal is super nutrient dense. So Beets are amazing for you. We have cauliflower, spinach, we have leeks. Leeks are extremely important to include in your diet because what they do is they create a mucus lining on your gut. So this is important because it actually prevents things like gluten and lactose and all of those bad things from digging through your gut lining. It's because leeks have something in it called inulin. And the inulin I'm a little congested, so my ends sound a little weird. Inulin creates that mucus lining for your gut. So what you could do is crack a little bit of Himalayan pig salt over it all. Try not to use too much seasoning, especially if it's hot. Please avoid hot things until you are way out of stage three. It could cause you to be very itchy. It's very high in salicylates. So what you're going to do is plate all of it, grab your oysters, you can either add your oysters on top, oysters are super high in zinc and iron, and you have a nutrient-dense meal that's also healing your skin. Now, if you're in stage two, what you can do is they actually have, so I, I can't speak for other countries, but in America, they have this one brand called Parmela Farms. You can find it at Whole Foods, and it's very clean cashew cheese. And so what I like to do is just put some fake cheese 
all on top. It gets super gooey. It's really just fermented cashews and it's amazing. It tastes really, really good. So this is a super, super quick meal. It literally took me maybe 15 minutes to make. So if you're in a time crunch, if you just came home and you're really tired, make this meal. It's very easy, very nutrient dense. It's going to heal your skin and make you feel a lot better. So you may have to substitute some things out. Um, cauliflower is good for stage two. If you are in stage one, maybe sub that in for like cabbage um, or maybe even green beans. You just want to create a super nutrient dense meal. And so if you're worried about protein, oysters are super high in protein. You can also add some shrimp to your dish as well. Make sure it is wild caught. So here's a meal for you guys. I hope this helps. And if you like my recipe videos, give this video a big thumbs up because I'll keep making them. I have a lot of time on my hands now and I'm so ready to create content that you guys want. So please let me know in the comments down below what you want to see from me. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.